What's going on there guys and welcome back to Unveiling Wild. The majority of the world's animals have very average appearances. You know what we mean. Seeing a cat, a cow, a lamb or a llama will probably not make your day. However, every once in a while we stumble across an animal that seems to have been plucked off from the set of a sci-fi or fantasy film. It could be a narwhal, a red wakari or a vampire deer that's nightmare father for the rest of your life. Here's a look at mythical creatures that exist in the wild. Before we get started, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on more videos like this going forward. Tenrec with a flecked coat Not only does the yellow and black quills that cover the body of the tiny Tenrec, which resemble a hedgehog, give it a one-of-a-kind appearance, but he's also the only mammal that communicates through stridulation. Tenrec's native to Madagascar have an additional specialized set of quills that they use to communicate with one another when it's dark. Additionally, the little mammals are constantly communicating with one another, but the pitch of their speech is too high for human ears to pick it up. Super Bird of Paradise The regular birds of paradise have long tail feathers, but the superb variety of this bird has a bright blue breast shield and neat feathers that can be worn as a cape as well. This bird should not be confused with the regular birds of paradise, at the very least males do. The male bird will fan out his nape feathers when he's looking for a mate, creating an appearance that's disc-shaped and resembles a neon blue and black smiley face. The Thorny Devil The Thorny Devil is a species of lizards that's indigenous to Australia. It's a miniature version of something you might anticipate seeing in Jurassic Park. They get all of their nutrition from ants and have thick thorny spikes covering their bodies to ward off potential predators. They maintain their bright yellow and red coloring when the temperature is warm, but transform into darker colors when the temperature drops. This ability to change color in response to environmental conditions is perhaps the most fascinating aspect of these creatures. Vampire Deer Antlers are the most distinctive feature of a deer, and it's common knowledge that they have many tines that grow upward to form a crown-like structure on top of their heads. You probably weren't aware of this, but some species of deer actually have real fangs growing in their mouths. Canine teeth of musk and water deer are very long and pointed. In fact, they even extend beyond the lower jaw, giving these species the popular name of fang or vampire deer. Well, you can see how he earned that name of vampire deer, which is really a nickname for various types of musk deer, but you can also see how he obtained his spooky nickname. The males of this family of deer are the only ones that have fangs, and they use them to fight for females. For the first time in 60 years, researchers discovered a single Kashmir musk deer in Afghanistan's northeastern region in November. Prior to this discovery, the species had been assumed to be extinct. The Okapi Because many of this creature's characteristics are similar to those of other animals, just by identifying the kind of animal that it is based on its appearance alone could be challenging. The Okapi is a species of artiodactyl mammal that's only found in the northeastern part of the Democratic Republic of the Congo in Central Africa. It's also known as the Forest Giraffe, Congolese Giraffe, or Zebra Giraffe. The Giraffe is the Okapi's closest living relative, despite the fact that the zebra-like stripes on its body make it seem like a zebra. These characteristics each serve a distinct purpose on its existence, from assisting it to blend in with the environment and conceal itself from potential threats to enabling it to reach berries that are located at higher heights. It has the body of a horse, but the neck of a giraffe, and is reserved as a national symbol of pride in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Its stature is comparable to that of a horse. Glaucus Atlanticus Not only does the name conjure up images of the legendary city of Atlantis, but this little marine creature also has an appearance that makes it seem as if it may have originated in the city itself. These sea slugs are pelagic, meaning that they float upside down and are pushed along by winds and ocean currents. The blue side of the Glaucus Atlanticus's body faces upwards, blending in with the water's blue color. When seen looking upwards underwater, the silver slash gray side of the sea slugs blends in with the sunlight shining on the ocean's surface. Glaucus Atlanticus eats poisonous siphonophores such as the Portuguese Man of War. As a kind of defense against predators, this sea slug stores stinging nemesis from siphonophores in its own tissues. The slug stings may be very painful and harmful to humans who handle it. The Glaucus Atlanticus is a kind of slug that feeds on the Portuguese man-of-war and floats about in the water in an inverted position. 
After it has finished feeding, the Glaucus will place the stingers of its meal in its own finger-like appendages, where it will keep them until it needs to defend itself against predators. Narwhal You're not too far off if you picture these animals as dolphins with sharp horns when you look at them. The narwhal, also known as a narwhal, is a toothed whale that's about the size of a beluga and has a big tusk that's formed by a projecting canine tooth. The narwhal is a kind of porpoise that gets its name from the ivory tusk tooth that protrudes conspicuously from its top lip and gives the animal the appearance of having a horn. It's believed that the males utilize this tooth for mating rituals and to ward off possible competitors. The tooth may develop to a length of about 9 feet in these animals. There are only about 45,000 to 50,000 narwhals left in the wild, making them an exceedingly endangered species. It spends the whole year residing in the seas of the Arctic that surround Greenland, Canada, and Russia. In the family Monodontidae, which also includes the beluga whale, this type of whale is one of two that are still alive today. Red Wakari Do you think it's possible that the bald, bright red face of the Wakari primate is a hint that it makes a good partner? That's correct, despite the fact that to human beings, all of them seem to be the stuff of nightmares. In these monkeys, a pale face is an indicator of ill health. Hence, the Red Wakari's one-of-a-kind look makes them a very attractive possible companion. The Bald Wakari, also known as the Ball-Headed Wakari, also known as the Ball-Headed Wakari, is a species of tiny monkey native to the New World that's distinguished by its very short tail, vividly scarlet face, bald head, and long coat. The Bald Wakari can only be found in Barzia forests and other types of woody habitats that are located close to water in the western Amazon of Brazil and Peru. Despite the fact that they don't have particularly long tails, these monkeys are just as nimble as other members of their species and are able to leap from tree to tree without any difficulty. They participate in social events together with huge groups of as many as 100 other Okari. Saiga Antelope The Saiga Antelope, also known simply as the Saiga, is a species of antelope that's considered to be in a state of critical endangerment. In ancient times, this species lived across a vast region of the Eurasian steppe from the foothills of the Carpathian Mountains in the northwest to the foothills of the Caucasus in the southwest and from Mongolia in the northeast to Zungaria in the southeast. The Saiga antelope has a mouth that resembles a proboscis, giving it the appearance of an anteater. This mouth actually functions as a kind of air filter and gives the animal its name. These resilient individuals have been seen ever since the end of the last ice age, but they're now on the verge of extinction. They have, thankfully, started making a bit of a return thanks to recent conservation measures that have aided them. Well guys, this wraps up yet another great video which we hope you enjoyed. And if you did, then do let us know by smashing that like button. And if you haven't done so already, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel as well as hit that bell icon so you don't miss out on more videos like this going forward. And until next time, take care.